guys, it's me Nita and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using my PE800 to embroider out some new embroidery designs that I'm going to be adding to my Etsy shop. Now I haven't used my embroidery machine in quite a while so I'm really excited to take this machine out and put it to some use. On my Etsy page and on my website I do have embroidered personalized baby blankets and because the holidays are coming up, I want to add some more new exciting items for my customers. So tonight, I'm going to try my very best and get four embroidery designs done. I don't know if I'm going to get all four of them done tonight. We'll see. Um, it just depends on if my kids will go to bed on time tonight. So we'll see. But my goal is to work on four embroidery designs um, that I will be able to add to my Etsy shop later on. But I just want to show you guys how I use my P800 and my steps on making baby blankets using my P800. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So tonight I'm going to be working on four dinosaur designs. Two of the designs are going to be for girls and two of the designs are going to be for boys. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of my supplies that I'll be using to make these blankets. So I have two big bolts of dinosaur fabric. Um, I'm not going to use the whole thing tonight, um, but this is going to be the back of the blankets. Um, so for the girl fabric, I found this really cute, adorable dinosaur fabric. So I'm going to be using this for the girl blankets. And then for the boy blankets, I'm going to use this really cute dinosaur fabric. So this is actually on sale. Um, at Joann's a few months back. It was only like $4.50 a yard. Um, this is flannel fabric. So flannel fabric I noticed is a lot cheaper than cotton fabric, but it's still great quality and it's perfect for baby blankets. So I was able to get, I think 12 yards of each for $4.95 a yard. So that's not bad at all. Um, and I think I used a coupon too on top of it. So not a bad deal at all. Um, for the back of the blanket, I'm using minky fabric, this soft fabric. And for, so for the applique part of the embroidery, I have this for one of the dinosaurs. I have this for one of the girl dinosaurs, and then I have this blue fabric for one of the other boy dinosaurs. So here's my applique fabric that I'll be using. I also got this at Joann's as well. Use a coupon. Um, this wasn't too badly priced. Some other supplies I'm gonna be using, um, because I am embroidering a name on to the minky fabric, I like to use this water sol soluble, soluble? I can't say the word, but um, this, it's like this, I don't know, but I can't say the word but water soluble stabilizer, I think that's how you say it. But you use this on top of um, the design so when you stitch out the name or do the satin stitches, the satin stitches and the name come out very, very nice. Um, I have a bunch of different like embroidery threads. I have a whole bunch that I'm gonna be using. I also have um, Heat and Bonds Light. Now don't use the Ultra because you can actually mess up your machine. But I have this to um, iron onto the back of the applique fabric. And then I also have these sheets of tearaway stabilizer. So I'm pretty sure that's all my supplies that I'm gonna be using. If I need other stuff, I'll make sure and show you guys. But so far, that's the stuff that I'll be using to make these blankets. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hoop my minky fabric um, because these are samples, actually, I'm not going to be making a whole blanket. So I just cut up little pieces of minky fabric so I could do the design on them. And then I'll be able to use this for the product photos. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to do it. I haven't done this style of... Usually I make the whole blanket, but because I'm trying to save on material and I don't want to make four blankets, um, I'm just gonna try out these little small pieces and then just kind of fold the fabric to make it appear like it's a blanket. So I'll try and show you guys that later on if I can. I don't know. I'll try and show you guys though. Actually, let me show you one other major thing that I'm gonna be using for embroidery. So here is my beautiful baby. This is my PE800. Um, I got this off Amazon back in December. 
December, I want to say, um, for like $500 and maybe like $65. Right now, if you try and get one of these machines on Amazon, they're like 1300 bucks. So if you're trying to get one of these machines, I would just hold off and wait because they're in such a great high demand right now. Um, I would wait till they go on sale or maybe you can find a used one. I would try and get a used one, but definitely do not pay $1,300 for one of these machines. They are great, they're awesome, but definitely not worth $1,300. Okay, so that was my baby. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take my little hoop and I'm gonna loosen it up and pop out this piece. Now I'm gonna move the camera and show you guys what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so usually when I'm trying to hoop a bigger blanket, I use an air marker to mark my spots um, to make sure it's lined up. I'm not really worried if it's straight or not, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it on, but before I do that, I need to put down one of my tearaway stabilizers. Today I'm gonna use two or tonight actually. Um, the next time I get an order for an embroidered blanket, I'll make sure and record it for you guys and show you really step by step on how I make an embroidered blanket. But just because I'm making samples right now, I'm not gonna show you guys the full process. So let me loosen this a little bit more. Okay, so basically what I just did right there is I kind of um, pulled the fabric out a little bit because you want it to be nice and tight, but you don't want to stretch the fabric out too much. Considering that, you know, minky fabric stretches a lot, you don't want to distort the design on the fabric when you unhoop it. So here it is hooped. So now um, the water soluble stabilizer, I'm gonna wait to put this on um, just because I'm gonna do the tack down and the applique part of the embroidery first, and then once we do the name, that's when um, I'll use the water uh, soluble stabilizer. And if I'm saying that wrong, my bad. So now I'm just gonna hoop it onto the machine. Okay, so I have everything set up on my machine. Now, all I have to do now is upload my embroidery design. So let's go ahead and I'll show you guys how I do that. Okay, so I'm thinking I wanna do um, this design first. Um, this little guy is so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do end edit. I'm really excited because I'm actually using a new type of font. Um, so we'll see how it looks. Okay, so it's gonna go ahead and do the tack down stitch for the applique. Okay, so now I just have to press go and it's gonna do the tack down stitch. So there's the tack down stitch. You guys can't really see it too well. So the next thing that I'm going to do is take my applique fabric and I'm using this really, really cute green fabric for the dinosaur and I'm going to iron on a piece of heat and bond onto the back of this fabric. Okay, so I cut out my little piece of fabric. I have the heat and bond on the back. Now I'm just gonna place this onto the area where the machine did the little tack down stitch.
Okay, so here is the tack down stitch. So now I'm gonna use some scissors and cut around the fabric, making sure that I don't cut the threads, but um, cut all, but I will cut off all this excess fabric. So that's the best I'm gonna be able to do it with those scissors. So now I'm gonna go ahead and re-hoop it. Um, I'm pretty sure I have to switch out the thread now to a different color. So looking at your machine, it will tell you what color that you're gonna have to do next. And I definitely have to switch out the color to green. I'm using, I'm using this color green, so I need to switch out this black. Okay, so I put down the water soluble stabilizer. I just used basically just some packing tape along the edges just to tape it on. And I need to switch out my thread for black now and then I'll be able to get started. Okay, so here is the finished product. I love it, it came out so cute. I love this new font. Um, definitely gonna be using this more for um, my embroidered blankets. But this dinosaur, Oh, I just love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hoop another piece of fabric and get started on the next dinosaur. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the girl version of that same exact dinosaur. Everything's basically going to be the same, except I'm gonna add a little piece of gold glitter vinyl for the bow. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that one now. Okay, sorry for the weird angle. So now I'm going to use um, the glitter vinyl. It's HTV, make sure you're using HTV or you can get embroidery vinyl online. Um, when you use HTV, you wanna make sure you take off this clear plastic piece and then you just put it down on the design and it'll do a tack down stitch for you. Okay, so I put my little piece of vinyl down, I have my presser foot down and I'm gonna go ahead and do the tack down stitch. And just like with the applique, once it's done doing the tack down stitch, you're just gonna go ahead and trim off any excess um, HTV. Okay, so here is the little um, HTV for the bow. So far, it's looking super cute. I love it. Okay, so here is the girl version of the this dinosaur. I decided to do the name in pink for this one just to make it a little bit more girly looking. I really like this bow, it looks so cute. I just wish I had embroidery vinyl instead of HTV, but it still works the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my next design. I'm doing um, this one next. The dinosaur is gonna be blue, so I'm gonna be using this fabric this time. It's just like the green one, but blue instead. I just love how this fabric has like little specks of different colors. So I think it's a nice little touch for the dinosaur.
Okay, so this one's all done. It's 11.40 at night right now and I'm getting pretty tired, so I'm gonna hurry up and do the girl version of this and then go to bed. I'll save the pictures for tomorrow because I'm way too tired, but anyways, this came out cute. Love it. So here is the final product of all my little dinosaurs that I'm going to be um, uploading and listing onto my Etsy and onto my website. Now I just need to take product photos with um, this fabric with the backing fabric of the blanket and then we'll be all ready to upload. So I've been trying to use this time lately to produce and make as many designs as I can. Um, on t-shirts, on blankets, because it's been really, really slow on Etsy, and I'm not the only one. It's just a really slow time, and I think because of COVID and everything that's going on, it's even more slow, which, you know, you have to use this time wisely and just use it as an opportunity to be creative and to add more things to your Etsy shop or to your website to make it look more interesting, to have more options for your buyers, so if you're feeling kind of down right now because you haven't gotten any sales, don't be down on yourself because the holidays are coming up. So use this time right now to try and get as many items in your shop because you're going to be very busy this holiday season. That's what you have to tell yourself. That's what I'm telling myself. So, so I'm trying to get as many things up as I can. Um, I've been noticing that I am getting a lot of traffic to my Etsy shop, but no one's buying right now, which is understandable. Um, so I'm just gonna keep adding things and customers will see my things and, and when the time is right, they will come back and hopefully buy something from me. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next few days. I have more embroidery designs, especially for Christmas, and I have some ideas for Halloween too. So make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be uploading more videos on things I'm going to be adding to my shop. And if you need some ideas to, for things to add to your shop, make sure you subscribe so you can see all the new things that I'm adding to my shop. Um, I'm adding a lot of embroidery things. I'm adding new t-shirt designs um, and some new dog bandanas too as well. So if you like this video, please give it a like so I know that you like this kind of material. And comment down below which one of these dinosaur designs was your favorite. And I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to see my product photos of these designs and how I'm going to do them, make sure to go check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link down below or I'll leave my website down below too so you can go check those out so you can get some ideas on how you can take product photos because product photos are so, so, so important for your Etsy listings or for your website. You want your photos to look nice. So if you need some ideas, go check out my shop or my website. And I think that's it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and like this video. Um, also, I post a lot on Instagram, so if you wanna see a lot of the current things I'm working on, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna leave my website, my Etsy, my Instagram all down below for you guys. So make sure you go check all of those links out. And if you like any of these designs and you wanna snag one of these for yourself, make sure to check the links down below because I also left some coupon codes that you can use for 50% off or for free shipping. So go check those out, okay? Well anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time, bye.